I don't know, feels kind of like uneventful. <laughs> it is crazy how some of this stuff drags out. But to me, that just shows like all these people can be focused on what they think is going to happen and it doesn't happen. So we don't just make things happen because we all focus on them. It doesn't go like that. It is more like whatever was going to happen is going to happen when it's going to happen. And that's how it's going to happen. And so it is like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like we cut it off before and think we have control, but really it's going to happen the way it's going to happen. It's going to play out how it's going to happen. And all of the us focusing and wanting something to happen, that is us just giving our energy into something we have no control over. And we definitely have no control over what's going on here in this situation. And to me, like I know, like I trust my own self, like uh, to know like this is bad, all this bad stuff is gonna happen, but it's, it's always like, bad leads to good it's like a full circle and and then plus just being able to see how um it, how necessary like people are way off they need to be brought into reality or something like they're just like so many people are just so lost so you know I don't know. I see the, I, I saw this one girl today and she was like, you know, I was really hoping for a zombie apocalypse because this slow just it, it is so tedious. And it is for, I mean, and some of these people have only been awake for a couple of years, some even just a year. And so, yeah, this is tedious as fuck, man. If you've been going through it for a long time, it's like, oh my God, how long can you drag this shit out? So, um, you know, I, I don't know. I can't imagine that we're going to make it till Friday with how much stuff is going on. I don't see how we would make it to the next Friday for everything to crash. It's already crashed. So is it kind of like they're kind of giving us a chance to, you know, to go with it? And then once people start freaking out and losing their minds, then we're going to have martial law. And I'm, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if we will at all. Like, who knows? I know that we're changing the money thing. And it's so crazy how many people, I mean, these are big content creators, you know, and they're saying, don't go to your redemption appointment. Don't go and stuff like that. It's like, they're, this is what I'm saying. They get so stuck on something. I saw this one guy doing this whole video okay charlie you know wanting to talk to charlie ward uh you know was the third nothing happened we didn't have this we going through the whole list blaming it on charlie charlie has said since the beginning like even back in 2020 when i very first started listening to him he thought it was going to happen way faster like any of us who have been paying attention have all thought everything was going to happen way faster and more dramatic kind of more dramatic like it's weird how it's just like so slow and so, uh, you know, it's not very dramatic. I don't think as to what I was thinking it was going to be. I mean, there's so many people who don't even know anything that's going on. So the thing with all of the bills and the mortgage and stuff, like we don't have to pay that stuff anymore. They're not going to just come out and announce it, but everybody's talking about it. And so there's something about like in the paperwork of your mortgage that says it has to be paid with U.S. dollars. Well, there's no U.S. dollars anymore. So now the contract's null and void. So there's all these little things like that. And, um, and then Trump was putting all that in his executive orders and stuff. He was covering the bases before that last year when he kept doing them and sitting on the stage and signing them. And people thought, oh, my God, this egomaniac, he's so... No, you just had to be paying attention. He was drawing attention and letting the, the people who were paying attention know. And, um, you know, and all this stuff to just keep uh, attacking him, attacking him. When it's so obvious that these other people are doing things. But let's not focus on that. Let's just focus on this guy. 
And then we have so much stuff happening, you know, it's headed us towards this big war that's, you know, they're threatening us with. I, I kept expecting a siren or something to go on and say we were under attack uh, with the nukes. But just, you know, another day that passes, like a lot of uh, planes, we had weird storms here. And um, whatever, these nanos that are in my fucking face. Yesterday, I was sitting on the couch. Last night, I was sitting on the couch, you know, and Phil's squirming around in my thing. And um, this morning, I was bawling my head off. I was, saw this, um, what was it? I saw this, uh, the animal rescue videos are really, um, get me crying. But this was something else. I can't remember, but I was bawling my head off. And so my nose was super snotty. And I went in and I blew it. And it just like clear looking snot. But I was like, man, I wish I had a fucking microscope right now. And look and see what's really in there moving around so much. If something's in there. And it moves around and it makes me start sneezing like crazy. But last night when I was sitting on the couch, it started going up. And it was like I could feel crawling up around in here. And I was feeling some other weird stuff. And I was like, oh, my God, what in the hell with these things that are inside of us that are like the the high frequency it kept coming. Then I hear these people say these loud sounds in our ears are the ascension symptoms. But it's, yesterday it felt like a total attack on frequency. Uh, Stella was uh, freaking out. It was weird. The whole, the whole thing. I kept thinking like, man, what are they doing? Like we have this weird weather, weird colors, these weird, uh, uh, like I'll feel the ground shaking. It's like everything you'll feel like all these different things. You'll think like, okay, it's about to happen. Something's about to happen. And then nothing. I just saw this was really creepy. Um, I've seen so many videos where people are outside hearing these weird noises. And, like, I've heard them out here. And I swear, I know that is why this one construction here. And the other day, it was so noisy. I really thought they were going to hit a gas line and blow up this area. It was like, this is so weird. It's like they're trying to draw so much attention. And I know something has to wake these people up. And I guess the woman who was missing was found yesterday because it was this woman who's been missing since the other day or since a couple weeks ago when I had said about um, that there's supposedly this woman missing and, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure and they had the search thing, but, it, you know, I wasn't, you know, hearing things. I, I don't know. I saw some people driving down the road, like looking for a dog or something like, like that kind of thing. Like, people weren't going door to door and asking if they could come in and search our property or whatever. I went out and searched my buildings, and there was nobody. But anyways, I guess they found her yesterday, and she was off of a, fell off of a cliff and was dead down there. And she had been, I think she had been dead the, like the whole time or something. I don't know. There's some weird stuff about it because um, my one neighbor started messaging me telling me um she gets really into like she's into those um murder podcasts and stuff and so you know this was like something that was right interesting to her and so they found the body and it was close to where we are and stuff like that and she said a couple things and i was like man i don't know some of this stuff does doesn't add up you know especially i said um it was two men who found her and um there wasn't any big searches and the uh, that i know of and the um uh the woman uh, i said well was she alzheimer's or something like and she said she had moderate dementia i don't think moderate dementia is going to have you out wandering in the woods um around your i mean she's got to live somewhere out here she didn't walk from the city so she's out here somewhere. I don't know. The whole thing is suspicious to me. But everything. I mean, there's so much stuff. Uh, you know, I, and they cover up the criminals' crimes because the criminals work for them. So, you know, I, I don't know. The I don't know. There's just so much going on everywhere. You know, um, 
I, but where I keep seeing the the people who are like these bigger content creator people who are so scared and telling people, you know, that the quantum system is um, it's the same as the um, uh, the social credits. It's not the same as that. The quantum because the quantum one is going back to basics but it's also is um this really advanced computer technology this blockchain or whatever that can't be hacked like we've had all so much stuff about our money and being hacked our identity stolen all this stuff and it, and then plus you know it's by these same fucking criminals and so you know, we've been going through all of those kinds of things. Well, this new system is supposedly, you can't do that. It's, ba it's based like on your energy or something. Like your energy imprint is you and it's very unique to you and nobody can el else can access it. And then uh, somebody was saying like you have to do a fingerprint and it scans you or something. And this is where I think where people get mixed up because the other one you have to have a, a, a plan you have to have something in you or the things they've already put in us are able to they're reading that which you know there's something to that because of the bluetooth like you can go walk around a, a, a graveyard now and pick up bluetooth on these people i like, it's so weird are they gonna I don't think that they could bring them back to life. <laughs> then they'd have to come out of the ground. Like, it would be a whole thing. So, I don't know what the point. Like, I don't know. It, it's all just a test. They're just testing on us all the time. But there's some people. And then, plus this whole shedding thing. Like, they, all this stuff. is, And then, plus them raining it on us. Like, I'm sure all these little you know things whatever is in my nose because obviously you know every freaking um uh whatever the different cleanses and stuff don't kill it so it doesn't seem organic to me doesn't seem like a worm if it just keeps on crawling around I'm gonna burrow in deeper and then, then plus for it to be so much in my nasal and then my eyes and then with my eyes, I've said I can see things in there. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so fed up with this shit. I'm so, so fucking sick of it. I'm just so ready to get, oh, I'm like, God damn. Like, it's going to be rough, but fuck. This is fucking rough. The, um, so, whatever is going to go on with the chaos with the money thing. You know, and to me, all of these different things is all, um, man, I'm so sore too. And people are all having these same symptoms, this jaw thing, people are having, um, all, all these symptoms that I keep having, I keep seeing where all these people keep saying they're having the same symptoms and they're saying it's ascension symptoms. And then so, man, I just don't know. Cause I know we're being poisoned and the frequency is being used against us. And I know that we're also, you know, raising the vibration of the planet in this whole planetary system is, um, it's like restructuring. Oh yeah. The sound thing. Um, so the weird noises I've heard out here, you know, the where it sounds like some sort of machine, but I've heard really creepy ones and videos and stuff. But this one was, I think in Australia or New Zealand. And, um, it sounded like, like in the movies in the 60s or 70s when they would do like the sci-fi alien movies, there was like a sound that was like, a, I don't know how to say, but it definitely was a sound like that. Like where you think that sounds like spaceships. It's like, Ooh, I, I can't even make the same kind of thing. It was, um, and the people were freaking out. They're like, what the fuck is that? What is that? It is creepy. And they're like, that sounds like aliens, but you don't, you can't see anything. That sounds like alien. Well, what they've shown in the movies, what alien ship sounds like. 
So, you know, I don't know. But the uh, there's so much, I mean, there's so much stuff in the sky. There's so much, everything is to get people to wake up. You know, that's the disclosure is all of this stuff, you know, just keeps being in front of you to wake you up. So you question things. And the, um, the, you know, what is so crazy too, is that the thing that just happened at the Christian schooling and the person who did it and stuff like that they make like to support that person. That right there is to get people to question their own morals. Like it isn't like the SJW people do what they're told. Because they fear so much of rejection. But, you know, as you wake up, it is to question things and to notice things. And so the thing with the money thing, like where these big content creators are still like so scared and don't trust anything because they're big content creators because they've been all anti-government. You know, they got stuck. They woke up to this one thing and they just got stuck. And so then they, that's all they can see is um all that and then they don't uh, so many of the people think all the guys are bad guys they don't see things more clearly like i i feel like there's there, there's gonna be good things happening for some of us and some people are gonna have to see the good things happening like maybe there's gonna be people who aren't gonna run down to the redemption center i'm going to i hell yeah i'm going to i want my appointment for the med beds immediately <laughs> And, um, there's stuff about that too going on. I guess I just saw guys saying there's stuff on rumble, but, um, so the med, I, you know, I want that. I went in the med beds and the, um, uh, I have a bunch of things I need healed. One thing, my fucking eyes, I'd like to be able to see. And I sit here painting, you know, I, I was, I have no idea. Maybe it just all looks really weird. Cause I can't see good. I'm sitting there, um, painting this morning this one that I've been working on and I worked on it all day yesterday but um I was well I was sitting there doing I was like it's kind of weird it's kind of like the blind painter <laughs> like I can't really see it very good but uh but that is also funny because I'm doing like this perspective of these really up close to these flowers well it's not all flowers but I think I have like 11 paintings in this series right now I'm gonna do I'm going to start this other one um, today, I think. And um, and then I think I'll have 12 or something in that. Uh, it, even the other day when I was ran out of, because um, I had to order some, I uh, went out, I was like, I'm going to look through my, some of my other paintings and see if there's something. I'll just paint over it. And um, I started pulling them up. I was like, oh, I don't want to paint over that. Oh, I don't want to paint over that. And then I was like, man, I think I have a lot of um, um, the ones that I did right before this series with the birds and the flowers. I think goes good with this one, though. So, I don't know. I'm going to get a showing or something once I get it all done. You know, I had all of those shows at the beginning of 2020, and then everything just shut down. So, I don't know. I've been putting that energy out there, so... It's going to flip back, hopefully, you know, get a show and be able to show them and sell them or something. But um, to me, though, the people who are, you know, sitting there saying all of this stuff about the quantum, like they're not looking into it. They're not paying attention. They're just not trusting anything. That's fear. Like you got to look into some stuff. And I know a big part of the awakening is your discernment and is your connection to yourself. And then one cool thing I've seen is a lot of people saying um, that they asked the universe that they said, you know, uh, if I'm supposed to be focused on my spiritual stuff, if that's what you want me to do, give me a sign. And people are saying like these weird things like show me a, a, a red dog. And um, this one woman, so she had said, show me a red dog. She went out for a walk with her daughter. And uh, right when they started walking, there was a little stuffed animal in front of her. This guy, he said that to show him a yellow bird. 
and uh, he said there's no yellow birds around where he is so he said show me a yellow bird and then he was watching videos and a guy was making lures and started yelling using yellow bird feathers of a yellow a bird that he said is not normally yellow he said that really stood out to him so people are getting their messages and they're paying attention and yeah and your spirit wants you to focus on it wants you to focus on life through the perspective of spirit not through the perspective of controllers who want to just take your energy and suck the life out of you so your you know your soul wants to be known and wants you to pay attention and you're and I, and I really think it's really cool because I've been saying that, like, ask for signs. So you'll get the signs. Um, and, you know, for me, like, I'll get the signs. But to me, my challenge is time. Like, divine timing is a bitch ass sometimes. When you just want something to hurry up and happen and you're just waiting on this divine timing because everything has to fall in place in a certain way. And we don't have control. We don't have control over any of that stuff. And there is stuff in my thing where it's just like, why, why did you tell me some of this stuff? Why, you know, why did I need to know so far in advance? Why did I need to know ahead and stuff? You know, I don't know. Because like I said, I'm still like in the middle part. There's still not the end. So it's, uh, I got the start in the middle, but I need the end to have it all make sense, to understand it you know, for, you know, my messages, but, you know, my messages are more complex than just, you know, show me a stuffed animal. I, I do, I used to do that stuff though, especially in regards to some of my own personal stuff. I'd be like, if, if I'm supposed to be doing this, if I'm supposed to, be, you know, show me, you know, three rainbows today and you'll get them. Like the one time when I said, you know, about sh show me an eagle, and um and i'm sitting there watching some random movie like an hour later and um the person in the movie that was so strange just all of a sudden starts saying the eagle has landed the eagle has landed the eagle has landed and they kept saying it and saying it. i was like okay i hear you and um you know because they don't make sure you get your message like the but like I said like I don't know on some of mine like why did I have to know so far ahead is it just to drive me crazy <laughs> I think it's you know because you got to learn to manage yourself you can't just let yourself go crazy you have to learn to manage your emotions and and so much is about trusting trusting the universe you know, not believing that there's an old man in the sky it's always this old man this old rickety old man this old man in the sky who just wants to punish you. you. You didn't say his name. You did this wrong. You did that wrong. So he just wants to punish you every day. And that's not, that's not, that's a made up thing too. Is your higher self is the next in line. You know, it's your, just as we, you know, the grown up self is the next to our, um, uh, what is that called? Our inner child self, the child that went through the trauma being birthed into this reality, that that being that aspect of self that we, after we've experienced and we've uh, uh, grown and gone through that, we're the next step. And that's the same with our higher self in this stage of adult development. And that is why when you, um, start connecting to your spiritual side it is like you start becoming your higher self you start your higher self is telling you things talking to you it is it's a totally different kind of guidance than when you the avatar is out there trying to force life to happen the way you think it should happen and instead you sit back and you connect and you're like show me where i'm supposed to go tell me what i'm supposed to do you know give me peace when i'm doing the wrong thing you know and i'm sitting there trying to force something you know give me peace just you know calm me down help me help me see the light and so you know the and, and to me it's like the same kind of thing as if you are doing your inner child work it's the same only it's going the other direction 
So instead of talking back to your child and helping them get through or release or let go of things or see things more clearly, then your um, it's the same, like your higher self is kind of doing that for you in this experience. And so it is, because um, it's so much to me it is like, I completely see like we're in this game. Like I don't have at all the same perception of life as I, like I did when I was younger or even five years ago. Like I, I used to think we were flesh and blood. I used to think that there was things that were real, but now it's like, what is real? Real is what you make it. Like anything is real if you make it real. So it is like a, our power to our reality and our existence is super powerful. And so, yeah, it's something you want to, you know, manage or understand or get control of. You want to attach or you develop that side of yourself. You now, especially in a time like this, when there's going to be so much development, I mean, you'd be like, you'd be sitting in the sandbox by yourself and everybody else can be out flying around the trees. Like, you know, you don't want to be held back, a bit out of fear. I saw this funny little um, skit somebody did and it was about these people wearing these. It was like an AA now for people who have to, you know, they can't take it off. They just can't, they just can't do it. I've got people in my family, you know, I, and I don't know if they just have become so used to it that it's just like, yeah, well, you just wear it. And it's like, but why? It is like, there's no point. It is, it's, it causes more damage than it does anything good for you. And, but see, they've all been implanted with other thoughts. And what's weird is like, <clears throat> for your consciousness, does it go with the implanted thoughts or does it go with the truth? You know? I think that it goes with the truth. That's what I think, like, how they've been able to interfere with us using frequency and chemicals and stuff. Like, there's some sort of thing, like, that we don't have to be aware of that can still uh, interfere with us. And that could give you the feeling, like, that you're real. But still, I think it has to do with frequency and since and chemicals and, and it's just like a, a computer or something like if you poured some kind of bleach on it or something how it would start glitching that's what i think that they somehow do with chemicals and frequency they interfere like that you have to in order to come into this reality to get birthed into this reality that you as the consciousness would be at a certain vibration, but when they interfere with it, that it causes, um, you know, sickness and it's strain on the being. And, um, but then, you know, the whole thing is, is that we come in for that part. We come in to play that part. I saw this movie yesterday. It was a true movie. It was a lifetime one. It was old and it was, um, a true story. And it was, and I remember this story. Sometimes I'll hear these stories and I'll remember them and I'll think, man, it was that long ago when this happened. I think this happened in the 90s. But it, was, it seems like, man, that was a long time ago. But it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. But it was um, this guy and he had gone to a friend's wedding. And when he went to the friend's wedding, he was looking for a girl to marry he went there with the plan to find some girl to marry so he could just sweep her off her feet because he lived off of insurance fraud and so he um you know marries these girls gets together with them and then he does them in and then he lives off the money and it was um this family who you know he got caught with this girl and his family and stuff but it was long like he was on the run for seven years and stuff and I remember when hearing about that 
about this guy who was marrying this, these girls for insurance. I like, and he's not the only one, but it, that is what I'm talking about. Like what people will do for money, like the, the greed, like to not care about someone else's existence. But the whole thing is, is that those people came in to play it out together. Like nothing happens by accident. That whole horrible scenario, that girl's soul came in to play that part. Like she may not remember when she's playing it because it would, you know, it's the same thing as like, um, you know, if you were watching uh, actors and if they, um, it was like, it wouldn't be as, um, if she, if she knew the experience, it wouldn't have the same impact. It wouldn't have the same reactions and stuff. So you have to go into your situation blindly, like blindfolded. So you don't remember because otherwise it just, it doesn't have the same kind of impact. And so, um, the, going through all of the challenges and seeing yourself, it wouldn't be the same. And then plus like these playing out these parts and uh, the different stuff from different lives that we're playing out with these different people. And, but when I was watching, it was like, I remember how tragic and how horrible and the, um, you know, just the fact of what people will do for money is just disgusting. But the, um, and it's just even selling themselves, like not valuing themselves, not valuing others. And I have even talked about this with my daughter, um, because younger people think it's progress, you know, women owning their bodies and the empowerment and stuff. No, it's not. It's, you're just giving it away for free. You're just selling yourself out. It's not empowerment to just, you know, let some guy for 50 bucks, uh, you know, beat off to you. Like, as you, you know, it's not empowerment. <laughs> like, owning your sexuality, that's, owning your sexuality would be keeping it to yourself. You know, for, or, you know, sharing it with somebody who was worthy of, you know, but if you have no value, you don't value yourself, then nobody has to have any worth. They just got to give you a couple bucks and then, you know, get a show. It's like, that's, that's not empowerment. Uh, nobody's going to convince me of that. And, uh, there's, um, what was it? There's so much, such an attack on older people, uh, you know, and since I am one and, um, what did I just see? Because there was, oh, cause that was this guy who was talking about, uh, something with the insurance, something with the state insurance stuff, you know, but everything is going to fall apart and everything is going to be outrageous to people who are talking about because it all has to go. And so he was talking about that this is going to kill a lot of old people. And then it's like, well, those, those old people are dependent on the system. Like they can take my insurance. I don't give a fuck. I'm not using that shit. I fucking throw that shit away. I'm not using, I'm not going to the fucking doctor. I'm not going to the fucking dentist. Take a fuck off. I'll take care of myself. And, and I say that all spunky, like, and then I walk out, break my ankle. God damn it. I gotta go. I'll try and set my own ankle. Like, I gotta just sit here calmly and wait. <laughs> that is a scary thing too, is like when you're anti all of this bullshit and then you go and drive and somebody hits you when you get taken in an ambulance to one of these hell holes. And I, there's, um, they're putting it out there. They're going to start evacuation. They're going to start moving people into certain places, safe zones. They're going to call them safety zones. And uh, they're, um, is you do not want to go anywhere that they say is say is the opposite. You just think about what did they tell the Jews? That I'm, you know, yeah, get on those trains. It's safe. We're, we're taking you to a safety zone. <laughs> it's gonna be safe. Go there. I'm like no, I, I no, I I see a replay here. I see you guys don't really have um, a lot of creativity. You just replay the same shit over and over throughout you know their time. 
and uh, you know it, it's part of the game though it's part of the challenge to uh, wake up and see and be like oh hell no hell no you're not playing this on me and uh, no i'm not gonna fucking go get on any i don't give a shit and they come and start like even if my neighborhood you know, blows up and they start saying oh we got to get people out of here safe you know i'm not going with them you know i don't know what i'll do or how i'll do it or whatever but i know that it's not you do not want to they're doing it on purpose they're doing this stuff on purpose to get a hold of us to contain us is the last thing anybody wants to do and you know there won't be freedom in any of those places i'm going towards freedom and you know the person who is on board with that is the person who is under total attack all the time and but people have to see you know they got at some point start questioning why in the hell don't they just let this guy go but still still feeding their their um tds thing with um oh well he's a perv and all that somebody did a video the other day pulling up all these presidents um hookers and you know, oh, we, we we don't believe the women on all of these, but when it comes to Stormy and Trump, well, she, it was whatever she says goes because he's a real dick. It's like, but what about Clinton? What about all, like, all these people who have been out here doing this show? Well, you know, we do we and I, and I don't even I swear to God, I don't care for one thing about this guy's private, you know, escapades. You know, and if he ever even was with this woman, I don't think so. Like, I think that she's kind of a plant. I think that she is paid to come in and say this stuff. There's, there's so much of that going on, especially with certain people. The people that they want to destroy their reputation. You know, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, he doesn't, when you, you the, 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 the Trump they sell you in the media is not the one that is sold to by his friends. His friends and family give a very different person, you know, and, and, um, yeah, I really liked hearing when Mel Kay would talk about him because she worked at that place, uh, Mar-a-Lago when she was a teenager and she was say, like he knew everybody he was so kind his kids were so respectful and they were just nobody drank they had to sit and do their homework like very just you know not rich asshole kids oh get me this go do that nothing like that she's uh, and they are very much like uh they aren't like that like go do this for me you know i'm over you i pay you they're not like that kind of people you know I don't know. I, I think that the, that they're being, you know, uh, misjudged by a lot of people. But it's done on purpose so that we accept whatever bad treatment they do to him. Well, he deserves it. He deserves it. He's a, he's a real dick. You know, and it's like, that is coming from inside of you. That's your biases. That's where you have got to face yourself. And, uh, you know. There's a, that to me is a big one on him is what he is showing. The part of his awakening part is to show you your biases. And uh, this uh, money thing is going to show, it, it, all of it is going to show people their own biases. Because you're not seeing, you're not looking at things, you're not trusting yourself, you're not being clear. You're just being misled. And each person has to wake up to it. And it's so crazy because we have so many people out there who think they're awake, who are out there pushing content, who haven't woke up yet, who are just stuck in their awakening. And so this is going to be interesting, you know, to see how some of this plays out with um, people waking up and um, seeing. Like, I, I think that people are going to become... You know, there's gonna be a lot of really distraught people who cannot handle facing themselves it's gonna be way too hard way too much and way too painful and um but you know i mean some of them they have a long ways the whole thing is through all of this stuff through all your healing all your the pain everything is about resilience it's about just get up and keep going just get up and go like, you don't have any other option. 
Like, what is your other option? Give up, do yourself in, or just keep going and let things, you know, I mean, face yourself each day and it will get easier. And so, I don't know. I, I just think, you know, there's just so much with, you know, people believing that they're the victim. And I was thinking about this because this, this one situation is just really stuck on my head still about, you know, these people who believe they're the victim and they're, you know, fighting this person that they think was the one who caused them all of their problems. You know, this evil person that gave birth to them who did nothing but abuse them their whole entire life and that, um, you know, they're the worst person in the whole world and this person's a victim and they, you know, are a good person who didn't deserve how they were treated or whatever. And everything that they did is an excuse for them because they are the victims. So, you know, whatever they did, they make an excuse for themselves, but they don't excuse the other person. And what's so crazy is in this generational learning, this we learn from each other, we have to also give back this um uh like respect or uh you know caring like for this other person of what they go through to put ourselves aside especially when you think about the chain of events the person who is the one who birthed you would of course have more issues isn't just like they're an evil person that they have a lot of stuff, generational stuff that has gone that hasn't been dealt with. And so then when they start trying to parent, they're not a good parent. They're not an efficient parent. They are, you know, a lot of things. But it's because they haven't ever got a heal yet. And so to jump over them, skip them, just skip over them, just call them a rotten son of a bitch, evil hell person, and then just go straight into you are the victim. You, poor, poor you, you're the victim. Then that's, you know, you you want to stay a victim, I guess. You want to just be in there like, well, oh, everybody feels sorry for me. I'm such a victim. I, I tried hard and this person, they just didn't, they weren't a good person. Why was I born to them? Well, you're born to them because you have soul contracts and then you really, you're here to learn and you're here to learn about yourself. So all the things you think are them are all things you need to work on for you. And so you are now you're putting somebody else aside on purpose you know when this person you know put your feelings aside they weren't probably doing it on purpose they were doing it because they didn't know how to deal with things they didn't know how to deal with uh, they just weren't um they didn't have the proper tools they went in you know with a drill when they needed a hammer they didn't know how to do things you know, it's just been a part of, you know, the existence of, you know, you go out and have a family, go get a job, you know, so it was an expectation. And biologically, a lot of people just ended up pregnant, you know, it's like, well, and, you know, a, a healthy society would have been doing more to prevent that and doing more to help people because like the tribes did more. You know, I mean, we didn't have, I don't think you can go back throughout all these different tribes and find like, oh, well, we're going to create divorce because, you know, I got together with him when I was 13 and I'm just had it with him, you know, like it was a different, you know, it was a different kind of thing. We uh, took it and kind of changed it or something and, uh, you know, we became dissatisfied with everybody. Everybody's hurting us or and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just that there's a difference in uh, in what how we've developed of what we find acceptable and how much people want to be the victim. And then the person, to me, who is before them is a victim, at least also. But they're just re-victimizing them. Uh, man, I swear, in that video, it was just so much, like... I mean, in the and then to keep hearing the mom keeps saying, "Just leave me alone. 
I don't want to talk about this. Yes, you are crazy. You say crazy things. Like, I don't want to discuss it. Well, if I say, you know, uh, you can't just tell, like, even there's a lot of people, you know, who are like, I'm half alien and stuff like that. When you start telling, if I went and started telling my mom, mom, I'm from the Pleiades, I'm sure of it. I know I'm an alien. My mom would be like, my mom wouldn't sit there and, but, you know, I haven't been living with her for eight years, you know, and being an a addict and stuff. So, you know, our relationship is different. But no matter what, if I told anyone in my family, my kid, anybody, they would have no understanding of that. They would just, I, I hear all the time how crazy I am. And so, yeah, that would... I don't know how you could go and say something like that and not expect that reaction to all of a sudden you think that they're going to sit down. Oh, okay, cool. Like, oh, now I get it. So you're from a different planet. Okay. You know, and it's not even like that. Like how people think. Like people are, didn't just zoom in and stuff. This, this, um, this is, uh, different than that this is souls birthing in because there was it was like a stagnant energy and there is a cosmic change humanity had shown that it was worthy that it was a worthwhile beings that they were making progress so all of these different beings that are you know out in their lives out in their existence and their realities who have um, want to come in and change the energy to pull the energy towards positive because they can't do it from out there even when they're sitting there telling us things not everybody hears them so it had to be like they had to draw people in people had to come in be birthed into this man i have got a burping disorder lately i swear to god <clears throat> Uh, and so the, uh, the people who get birthed into this existence so that they can, um, um, you know, like, sometimes there's like so many words, but none of them seem exactly like, um, but is establish a point of self. And so then when you go into, um, to that, um, uh, let me think of what I was saying, because, um, the people who, so they get birthed into the, the, um, get birthed into the, um, get birthed into this, uh, in particular scenario. And so, you're playing a part. That wasn't what I was. It was something else I was trying to say. Maybe I finished. Maybe I explained it. Maybe I said all I needed to say. Sometimes I wonder that when all of a sudden it just goes blank. It's like, well, maybe I finished what I was supposed to say and I don't realize it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but all I know is that, uh, oh yeah, because so you have all these beings that are coming from other places. So, and <clears throat> there is a part too where some people are are left their their being that they are, <clears throat> and so just a for instance, like I I don't know for sure, but let's just say for instance that I am Palladian and that I come from the Pleiades and that I came here with a group of people and that we came to do what we came to do so that we could change the energy and help humanity in our own way because we have certain philosophies and stuff from the place I'm at. And so that I went into a deep meditation and I'm at my home in this other place in a deep meditation and I'm projecting myself being birthed into this experience to raise this vibration. Like there's literally things like that where the people are still alive in these other places that they are just in a meditation and birthed into that because we're in a dream. This isn't real, like how we think of real life. It's a dream. 
And so it's like lucid dreaming. And so you have beings from other places that are projecting themselves into the experience to raise the vibration by just bringing other perspectives, by bringing other information, by pointing things out that people don't see. And, um, and, and then you have people like us, you know, who have died in their other, you know, actually left that place and came here and was birthed into this place. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand why anybody would have to really, um, die or cease to, I don't even think that we have death in other realities like here. I think that is one of the big parts about humanity and the experience is that because we have to go through life and death in this other way, it's very challenging and the feeling of loss and stuff like the experiences here are really um, hard. They're not like, like if you went and said, well, I'm just going to go start being birthed into the Pleiades, which I kind of feel like some of these places is more like soul tribes. Like, like if you went to, like if I went to the Pleiades and I'm Pleiadian and I'm up there somewhere uh, in a meditation, birthed myself into this reality <clears throat> to meet up with all these other people from my place that we are all kind of like the same vibration that isn't like here. Like here, we can have all these different vibrations. We can have all these different people, all different levels, all different beings. But you go to like Andromeda or Syria or the um, uh, Pleiades or whatever. You go there and it's going to be all Pleiadians, all Andromeda. So it's all of a certain tribe, if you get what I'm saying. And so those different tribes have different philosophies. And, and they're more advanced. So in these places, you don't have to die. It's almost like these are other heavenly places. And so it is uh, this dreaming yourself into the reality. But the cool thing is, is that all of the people who I'm up there with, you know, my soul group tribe that we came in, like we made a decision, you know, well, we're going to come in and we're going to meet up and, you know, how we'll meet and stuff like that. That part, that is um, the cool thing that I think is happening. That that part is what is happening now is the, the uh, vibration, the pulling in your, um, your tribe, your people the people who you came here to go through the experience with, the ones that you came here to, uh, whatever, you know, that we've decided we're going to create to make change. I think a lot of us are here as um, to seed this new world, to bring in certain information, to seed it. And so that's what, I, you know, that's what I think I'm here for is... Um, like that. I 100% think I'm from somewhere else and it's not out of ego or something like that. It's just out of like there's certain things that I know and understand that other people don't know and understand and don't see. And as far as I'm concerned, anything that anybody knows or understands is for them to share. And it's not to push onto somebody. It's just to share it, have the information be out there, be available. And sometimes the information will just go through another person, but it far reaches, it expands, it goes, um, in, it starts reaching everybody through some way or another. And so, you know, I for sure think that I came here to uh, help with this change um, just because of the things that I understand that other people don't understand and I think you know that's to help people and um, but you know it's not to force people have got to stop like forcing what they believe on other people and let everybody figure out what they believe for themselves and you know sometimes you're going to believe something that isn't accurate you know just like uh, say, for instance, manifestation, you know, that is something that has very much expanded to me 
over my understanding of manifesting so way different than what I hear people talking about. Like I, even yesterday, it was another one. And uh, sometimes these tarot, and I have got them popping up nonstop. And uh, sometimes they are so fucking accurate to exactly your fucking thing. And things you're just thinking and saying. Things in conversation I'm having with my guidance. And, uh, um, and this one will pop up. And it'll be specifically in so many of mine, I swear to God, is just like, okay, Kelly, we'll tell you again. We've told you a hundred times. This is what's going to happen. And it's like, oh my God. It's like, stop just telling me then. Make it fucking happen. But see, there's nothing you can do about this divine timing. But um, the um, there's something else I wanted to say about that, though. The um, When the... Um, damn it. There was something and I had to throw in that other thing. Let me think what it was because, um, when the, um, well, to me, when the people, um, when you start coming together with your people, with the people that you came here to meet up with that you'll start doing uh, something together. Something that is going to move things in a certain direction. Like, to me, I don't know. One of the messages I've gotten strong over and over and over is something with kids. And then I get one a lot of times with something with animals. But those are things I feel really strong about. You know, uh, we got to change how kids are being raised. And we got to change how we respect animals. And so, you know, I don't know, maybe it's just, you know, me just saying that all the time or something is going to be enough, but I, you know, I don't know. I mean, like I've got so many, I, I, I'm an idea person. That's for sure. Like I, when they, when people sit there and say, well, you know, I, I just come up with your, what you think I can come up with a lot of shit. Like I'm, I'm definitely, uh, very creative and I can come up with a lot of ideas, a lot of things. And, um, and I kind of like, I, I completely can see how we need to reconstruct education. I can see a lot of things that we need to change and make different. So I don't know if I'm going to play some part in, in developing some things. I don't know. I, I, Personally, uh, to me, there's so much of the messages that have been through, like, throughout. I'm trying to think because <clears throat> it's been for a huge part of my life. But there was a certain part <clears throat> where I started getting told all over and over and over this certain thing. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's um, something about spirituality is my role here something about helping people to understand what I see or what I understand. And so, you know, giving information about how I see things. So I don't know. I mean, like I've said, I'm still in the middle. I got to still see how this plays out. You know, what people are coming in to make contact with me and, you know, what is my role and how is this going to play out and, you know, I mean, there's times where it feels like, am I ever even going to be seen or heard? Like the frustration is like, I feel like I'm the one in the mouse trap in there scratching at the thing. Ooh, yesterday or this morning, there was a loud crash again. <clears throat> and Stella was sitting out here. And then um, she was, she had been in the bathroom and then she came out here and she was laying and she got in her bed and she laid down and all of a sudden something crashed in the bathroom and she jumped up and started barking. And I don't know what the hell it is. I swear to God. I see little things running around here, walking around here, things peeking out. Things like every time I walk down the hall, something comes right up to me. <clears throat> and they all do. They totally, totally hide in um, anything, anything that can be like something to be hiding right there. And just, they know how to just blend into the walls, blend into things. They can just hide. And, uh, but I don't think that they're all like evil devils and stuff. Like all these people who are so scared of everything. I just, um, 
I know I don't know I just find it annoying right now I'm just I'm annoyed by a lot of things right now <laughs> I'm annoyed how this just drags on and drags on and uh, but you know I mean people have got to see people have got to see like themselves and see like you are whining about being a victim but really you are victimizing people this is like people have got to see their selves their selves and not and get out of this <clears throat> no it's poor me it's poor me life's been hard on me life's been hard on us all life is hard as part of the game as part of the challenge it, i mean it wouldn't be very challenging if it just came in and it was easy how much growth would happen so it has to be hard it has to be challenging and it is so that you do grow you know, I mean, we got time to burn. We got infinity. But also, you, you have every opportunity to expand. And the expansion can just go as far as you can go. I mean, you can become a planet. You can become, you know, you can become anything you want to be. You know, so anyways, the expansion is out there for every soul to continue to understand and become more itself, to become all that you can be, all that you are. And who knows where that's gonna stop. Right now, I'm just waiting for my group to come and find me. <laughs> I put myself out there, I'm out here. <laughs> now I just need them to come find me so we can start doing our work. Like whatever that work is, I don't know. I guess we all bring a part of the puzzle. And uh, But I, I do think that you know a lot of us came here with a group we didn't just come here by ourselves we came here with a group so i don't know we'll, we'll just see we'll see how things keep playing out i don't know they keep telling me that something something big is going to happen this week so we'll see i swear to god i feel like i've been told that so many times it's like i reach a point where it's like okay just stop telling me just when it happens it'll happen i don't want to hear about it <laughs> Because then I sit there all day long. Okay, something good gonna happen today. Something gonna, and then it's by the time you go to bed, it's like motherfucking nothing. Another day of nothing. And it's like, oh my god, I this I I I really really did not like I I didn't know I could feel so much time of nothing, like so much time that has just slowly been. I don't know. Change is a uh, very slow, very slow. So, anyways, um, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I said something that was helpful about something. But you know, I mean, this is gonna go slow. Uh, but something like I don't know. I mean, I is there gonna be any big drama? Are they ever going to do any alarms and lock us down? I don't know. You know. Is it going to just keep slowly rolling out and slowly this and slowly that and people are arguing about this and arguing about like, I don't, I don't know. I hope something just all of a sudden, you know, and turns it all going the other way because this is so tedious. So anyways, um, we'll see what the week brings and see how things roll out. All I want to do is I just, I don't even give a shit so much about I mean, I want to get my quantum account because I want to hire some guys around here and start getting some work done. And then I want to start finding my next place. And I think I want to get a camper. I want to get a boat too. I want to get a camper or something. So me and Stella have a place to sleep, but then travel around and start finding where do I want to be? Where do I want my next place? Oh, this is really cool too is that uh and i knew i i said that they're, they're not going to be able to keep controlling us with this um passports and travel that has all been about control and so the they're going to start allowing us some sort of dual citizenship allowing us see this bullshit they're gonna allow us they don't fucking have anything over us but you know i mean there's going to be these but allowing is going to be how it's going to kind of roll in but because they can't fucking stop. They can't make us say, well, I'm a this citizen. There's going to be things with the money thing, I think, is where your payouts are going to be coming from. So you would be like a, 
African citizen, an American citizen, Saudi or whatever your thing would be. It would be where you're getting your finances. So, but we are going to get to have a dual citizenship. So like my grandpa being from Scotland. So now I can go to Scotland and become a citizen because I have a family heritage there. It's staying with the crane, but I don't know. The crane is so evil. Like I can see why my grandpa's parents escaped from there. <laughs> like I'm really thinking because when the media and talked to him and they were in the, he kept showing something about food, that there was a food shortage and stuff. And then when I saw that the that crane did that, I think in 1918 they they made uh, like all the people they were start starving them, and I kind of think that's um, when they left and came is was during whatever was going on for that and so that place has been it's just so corrupt like oh my god the stuff that keeps coming out and stories and stuff is it's corrupt as can be but scotland i really want really want to go there i really want to i would love to get a little uh ranch there and i hope that some of these places are not going to be underwater very soon like i had heard a while back that um, Scotland was going to be a huge place. There was going to be a, a, a lot of digs that were going to be going on. This is a while ago. It wasn't because I was talking about I wanted to go to Scotland. I had just heard when, when someone was talking about like our hidden history and stuff, that there was a lot of stuff in Scotland that has been hidden from us and that there's going to be a lot of digs there. And I think there's some giants and stuff like, I don't know. So, I mean, we'd have to go through that period of time where it's still not underwater. But on the Doomsday map, I don't think there's a Scotland. So, I don't know. But I definitely want to go over there. And I thought that was really cool. Now, we will be able to go, like, where our family, our heritage comes from. Which some of us is, like, a whole bunch of different places. I don't even know where my grandmas come from. Like, I've heard whales and... um my one grandma, I mean, I don't know. She could come across on the Mayflower. I don't know. Um, but a lot of them, you know, were Europe. I mean, they're white people, so mostly Europe, Eastern Europe. But I don't even think, I think my grandpa's the only one who is from Eastern Europe. Like, I think the rest of them are probably like England kind of situation. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I would be curious to know more about my one grandma the one that was married to the one that was from the crane. The other one too, she, I kind of feel like she maybe was sent with the orphan trains because she so much wanted nothing to do with her family. And it was out in the farms in like South Dakota, North Dakota or something. And then, um, there's so much stuff about the orphan trains. And so I don't know, you know, it's curious to know more about I mean, the family where they do the lineage, like my brother and sister have been doing. I don't know. It see, I know that they had gone back on some of the different ones. Like the one even was all the way back to like 700 BC where I had seen like there was some bad people, really bad people in our, like one of them was a, uh, priest or something some sort of uh, you know holy man under the crown who went to ireland and um ireland or scotland it wasn't even the same side of the family i don't think it wasn't the ones that left but it was um because there was one who worked with some sort of duke or something and um, it seemed like maybe he was a tax collector or something, something taking money from people. And people hated him and dug him up, and ripped him apart, set their head on the post. And this guy, too, this priest guy who worked for the crown who went over there and he, um, he, he caused the genocide of the Catholics or the Protestants or something. He was bad, <clears throat> really bad. I couldn't believe when I was reading it, I was like, oh my God. What the fuck? I mean, go back and read about some of these people. So I don't even know. I don't know that anybody has gone as far back on my one grandma. But I would be curious to know, like, how she did get... Well, both my grandmas, really. 
I would be curious about both of them. But I think it's my grandpa's where they've been. And then as soon as you go into a grandpa, one person, then it's immediately splits into, then you start looking into their mom or their dad. Like it, the ancestry stuff is very complex and very deep. And you just keep going back further. Once you're going on one person, you keep going back further, further, further. So I don't know. It's a lot to do all the grandparents and stuff. And, you know, it's not something that I'm good at. Like I'm like, I've got siblings doing that stuff. I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't know. I get impressed with some people who are really good with doing like those kinds of researches and stuff. But I don't know, maybe I would have been better at it before my brain injury, but definitely after my brain injury, I, I have a hard time reading a fucking paragraph, you know, and I don't know if it has something to do with my eyes. I don't know. I just can't wait to get in the med beds. There's a bunch of things I want healed. I just want to get in the med beds. And I do want my quantum money so I can start doing my work and fixing my house and move on. But it's not like I want to, you know, run out and, you know, do this and do that. Like, I don't know. I We'll see how things go when people start getting money in the accounts. But I don't think, I think there's going to be a lot of limitations because everything's going to be falling apart. There's not going to be a bunch of stores to go buy shit at. Stores are closing down. McDonald's is laying everybody. America, McDonald's is closing down. Like, it's all going. It's all ending. So, anyways, um, we'll see. We'll see how this week goes, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.